All right, so I'm about to get started uh, building a brush guard to go on the back of my Takeuchi TL6R. Uh, I do a lot of do a lot of tree work and a little bit of land clearing and stuff. And on my older Bobcat uh, and my case that I had, I did a lot of backing into stumps and trees and stuff. I mean, that's pretty standard on skid steers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a pretty heavy duty brush guard made. So if I back into anything, it, it'll or just scratch up the brush guard and won't uh it won't get into my oil cooler or my radiator so what i'm planning on doing uh is making i made these plates i'm going to luckily takeuchi they uh they give you these pre-tapped holes uh i guess they anticipated adding weights or attachments or something i'm gonna i'm gonna mount this like right there on each side, just on those those bottom two mount positions. And I bought these dump truck tailgate hinges, and I'll mount them like that. I'll weld those on there, and, and I'll use that as the base <clears throat> to start building my, build my brush guard off of. I'll do two hinges, and I'll do the mount position, the locking position over here with some pins like just your regular implement pins. And uh, I believe this is gonna work. We'll see. I'm just gonna start scabbing together. They, I got these for like $100 for the pair off Amazon and they're greasable. I, I needed something really heavy duty because it'll probably get a lot of abuse and I didn't wanna have to be repairing them again. And they came painted, but I'm just gonna have to scratch all that off because I gotta weld it. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So I got these hinges welded on the plates and I got them mounted. I squared them up pretty good. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to run me a bar to connect them, but I'm going to come up a little higher to run my horizontal bar because I want to still be able to keep my tail lights, keep them where they'll work. I'm going to try to make a, so what I'm going to do is make a kind of a V off of each side at an angle and run a cross bar across. Leave me enough room to put some tractor weights or my tools and chainsaws and stuff like that in there. And uh, I'm just gonna reinforce it just as much as I can. I want I want to add a little bit of weight back here, just for some counterweight. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spare the metal. I'm gonna make it as as beefy as I can. So I'll get started on that uh, that connecting rod, and then we'll start making the brush guard.
All right, so I got it framed up and I got the hinge system and the latch system put on. Just got these implement pins with these little uh, D-ring uh, mounts. And uh, oh, also, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video, be sure and disconnect your battery before you start welding on something. But it's working. <laughs> I have to shorten that pin up just a little bit. But it, it opens and closes nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start welding some bracing in. And after I get the, I got everything just tacked together right now. After I get the bracing put on, I will, uh, I'll start burning all the welds in. <clears throat> I didn't want to, I didn't want to get too carried away welding until I got everything figured out. So uh, I'd still be able to do a little torquing on on some of the metal if I if I got it out of out of square or something. But it's good to go now and I'll start putting the putting the bracing on and we'll get it welded up.
Alright, so this is somewhat finished product. I got my expanded metal on and got my reinforcement plates at the bottom. I went ahead and put me a receiver tube on there. Because uh, I've got that portable winch that I can use sometimes. And I might I might mount me a receiver tube on a D-ring or I can even use it to move some of my trailers around the around the shop yard and stuff. But uh I had it laying around so I just went ahead and threw it on there. So uh, it's really heavy. I think it's gonna be plenty sturdy enough for backing into small trees and stuff. And the expanded metal will keep stuff out of my radiator and oil cooler. But uh, I'm gonna get the flap disc out and start taking off some of this mill scale and smoothing some of my wells down a little bit, get it ready for, for painting. And then we'll get it in the shop and prime it and paint it.
right, so I finally got it finished. Uh, I didn't have too much trouble getting it mounted other than getting those latch plates squared up to the to the latches. But I'll run it for a little while and bang it around and it should loosen up some and should be easier to open. I'll put a little weight on it right now. She's fully functional. Probably gonna mount me a, a vise right here so I can sharpen my chainsaw on the back of it. Might have a little mountain bracket for some for some tools and whatnot. Don't really want to put too much in front of the oil cooler. Just let the air flow freely. But she's good to go right now. I figured it up. I have maybe maybe four hundred dollars, give or take, just a little bit in the material. I had this receiver tube just laying around, so we we'll utilize it moving moving trailers and putting my portable winch in it if need be. Maybe mount a, a D ring or something for recovery. But all in all, I think it worked out pretty well, and it's uh, a whole lot cheaper than the than the aftermarket ones. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. If you don't mind, like and subscribe, leave a comment, ask any questions, feel free, and uh, we'll see you next time.